What's up, money friends and viewers of the tube? Today we're going to be talking about Miranda, Mariah, whatever it's called, price prediction for 2024. And we can look at, I was right again. So we can go look at the price. I actually will play this clip real quick. Uh, let's pull up the volume here. And uh, they are, all of the things that they are doing, they are just um, dumping it, essentially. And we can look at un the unlocked token. You can see in just a few days, there'll be more unlocks to be had, and they will be dumping on you. The date, uh, July 6th, so in three days, I can definitely expect uh, the token price to drop even further. Um, probably maybe a couple percent, I mean, especially with how Bitcoin and Ethereum. And uh, there you go. That was at 0.0033. We, uh, and that was on four days ago. It's probably going to be even further because this video is going to be in the future because I do all my content ahead of time. But it's down 8% just today. And you can see that uh, it is now... Not 0.0033, it is actually 0 0.0028. Actually just dropped a little bit more as we are going. And everyone is calling it a scam um, because it is. Uh, some people are calling it bullish. These are obviously bots um, because they don't have real names. Uh, but Coiner, um, this is probably Mobile Berserker, but he's probably just a shill because he probably lost his shit. But uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's going down. And if we go to their website, we can see that they haven't done anything. All they did was sell notes to you guys and you bought them and now you're paying for them. And, and it's good. I mean, the people that got in on the nodes and made their money back, that's awesome. Uh, all the other people that are now uh, exit liquidity, should have got your crypto out when I said not to invest in this project. I mean, you could have, let's be honest. I said from the very beginning that I don't really care about the price of it because all crypto projects are going to pump when they start and then once the team continuously pulls liquidity, pays for salaries and dumps on the project, that money is going to be lost. And there is a unbalance of holders to salary wages. If you're investing money and you're investing time and then you need to use investors money to pay with no runway, then that is what's going to happen to the price of the token. And we see that today because they have huge unlocks. Um, another one's coming a month from now and they will dump. And, why they need five million is beyond me. Um, why it drops 10% in a day is beyond me. But I could guess that they're filling their pockets and doing nothing because it does not does not take millions of dollars to uh, create a copy paste game. I mean, some of these games are like Flappy Bird, uh, billiards. Come on, like. There's a million billiards that you could reskin and use. I mean, this is what all these projects are, uh, are just reskins. And so, like, Block Royale, Meta Rush. I mean, besides maybe Z Zone 9 Survival, which I'm guessing is not even any doing it anymore. Um, this game was supposed to be doing something. Like, all these games, they're not going to come out. Um, they're just garbage. The Retrocraft is probably the only game actually because I believe I saw this where they were developing it on their own and it looks like a pretty solid game but um, I think they're just using this as press but I mean we can look at the marketplace bunch of the normal like shitty NFTs that are like no why is no one's gonna spend a thousand dollars on a uh, uh, NFT like we're past the NFT hype in gaming. Um, so if this, like, the ultra rare title, title of 390 million, like, no one's going to pay this. Do you know why? Because if this company goes bankrupt, then there is no reason for you to hold shitty NFTs. We can look at what happened to Gala Games. Gala Games. They had so many games and now they're in a bunch of lawsuits because like spider tanks, um, 
a few of them they're not even doing anymore. Uh, I think Miranda's been sent to another team. Battlestar Galactica pulled, I think, last uh, Expedition pulled, or, or Echoes of Empire. A lot of these are already pulled. Fortitude, solid game. Don't think they're going to be doing anything with it. Um, but yeah, it's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Uh, all of these, all of it is. Um, let's see the latest news. Um, I know that they had uh, Spider Tanks is in uh, a lawsuit. Eh, it doesn't matter. What matters is they're not coming out with any games. They're not, and if they do, it's going to be garbage. No one's going to play them. So that doesn't entice. The thing, I, I don't. I, this is what pe blows my mind, and people just don't understand crypto, is if you have. Let me just fucking do a sketch pad because I can't believe I have to tell people this, but yeah. You know, it is what it is. If you put it in a dollar, so you put in a dollar, one dollar, and you're that one person, right? And you invested it into this project, right? You invested into this project a dollar, and then the team of Mirandis, or not Mirandis, of um, M Y R I Mariah has a team, and they're like, "Hey, in order to develop this game, we need your dollar, right?" So they spend it. They spend it on this person's time, this person's time, and this person's time. They all get thirty-three cents each. But they need to sell that token, that one dollar, for real money to pay these people because they can't eat and live off of this token. So they need to put it into their everyday expenses. So that price goes down, well actually it's split, well actually it's, it's zero because these people took it. And this person's like, hey, I got this token that now is worth zero. Because no people are playing the game, so there's not any burning. There's an uneven amount of uh, time versus investment. So for example, this person invested money expecting to get money back. These people invested time to get money back. That's an uneven exchange. And so when you do that, there is an unbalance of resources. And so if you don't have a revenue model, then this, these people, the team, feed on your investment. And if they don't come up with anything, you're shit out of luck. So. Um, I don't understand why people don't just understand that if you do not have a revenue model, you're not going to be successful in crypto. We can look at 90, 99% of the crypto projects in every bull run disappear because they don't have a revenue model. And so it just baffles my mind that people just don't understand that basic things. And you could say, oh, Bitcoin and all that, but they have billions of dollars that are locked. Uh, it really doesn't require any more coding. I I'm guessing there, I, th I think there's coding still involved. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but they have funding. These have insane amount of funding. Uh, venture capitalists, uh, people lose their crypto. Uh, all of these top cryptos are more of like, uh, they have a massive amount of funding and they have the revenue to support it and These other cryptos. I mean Tonda's XRP eh, uh, Cardano's doing a fork again. I don't think a lot 99% of these cryptos aren't gonna last like oh, They have no revenue source. They have no real business and all of the coin the blockchains Don't serve a purpose. Why do you have 10 million blockchains when they all essentially do the same thing? They all can do the same thing. The only difference is a few, uh, the amounts of transactions they can do. And so uh, I think it's, they're gonna, they're gonna disappear. So, and these people are just feeding off of your investment. So 
Uh, my price prediction for um, Ryan, Ryan is going to be uh, it's going to hit an, another all-time low. Uh, it's going to go from let's pull it up. Uh, it's uh, it dropped even further. I mean, as we talk, because garbage. Um, but I mean, it's, it's definitely going to hit another all-time low. It's going to probably hit. Uh, it's going to definitely be under a, a thousandth of a penny. So it's be into a millionth of a penny. So point. It's going to add another zero, is what I'm saying. And it's going to keep dropping. So there you go. You go. That's my brightest prediction, and I bet you I'm right. That's it.